Hi everyone. So I'm going to show you how to set up your page for today's activity. So it's just like we set up our page last week if you did the beginning, middle, and end there. But today you have um, a bit more of a job because you are also going to draw a picture and write about the characters and the setting in the story. So today we're reading The Kissing Hand and so after you have listened to the story, you're going to set up your page like this. I have the date at the top and the title here, The Kissing Hand. Sorry, it's a bit loud outside. I have my window open. And then this is how I chose to set it up. So you can do a different way if it works for you or you can do it like this. So I wrote down characters and I drew a little box. Then in that box, you can draw a picture of the characters and try to write out their names. Then I have the setting. Now the setting is where the story takes place. So again, you can draw a picture of where it takes place and you could try to write it out there. Now I couldn't fit everything on one page, so I have another page as well. Same date at the top, same story, because that's the book we're still working on. I just like to write the date and the title here so I know when I'm looking back that this is the same activity. And then I have three boxes. I couldn't fit them all um, so I wrote them out too big. But here we have beginning, so you're going to draw or write what happens at the beginning of the story, draw or write what happens in the middle of the story, and then draw or write what happens at the end of the story. And then when you're all done, you can snap a picture of this page and that page so I can see the work that you've done. And then I'm hoping that soon we can start working on making up our own stories because I know that's lots and lots of fun, but I just wanted to have a little bit more practice of identifying what the characters are and what the setting is in a story before we start making our own stories. Okay, so I hope you have fun with that and then I can't wait to see all of the work that you have done. Hope you enjoy the story. Bye.